Welcome to another Ridge Podcast. Today we are talking to Mrs. Gladness Moore, who's our current deputy head here at the Ridge School. Today she's going to be talking to us about how do we nurture boys to become successful and intelligent. Philosophy of children and education in humanity and project-based learning. A taste of the real world. Let's have a listen. Good afternoon, Dr. Moore. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. You please kindly tell us what you do at the Ridge School. I am the Deputy Head of Academics, which includes curriculum development, innovation, and staff professional development. Thank you very much. Um, is it possible for me to please ask you a couple of questions? Sure. Question number one. What is the Ridge School's approach to education? So we like to offer a personalised approach to education, one in which the curriculum may have caps as its very core skeleton, but upon which we develop and evolve, and we develop intelligences that are multiple. At the Ridge, we look at education that is learner-centered and personalized. Our curriculum evolves from CAPS as a basis and then extends beyond that. It is in line with our values and involves the use of critical thinking skills, which I will expand upon later. Um, We believe in differentiation and inclusion um, as far as school is able to support this. We believe that Thank you. And what what does successful intelligence mean according to Robert J. Steenberg and the Rich School's vision? So at the Rich School, we aim to develop boys who are successfully intelligent. And by this we mean that boys develop skills that are creative, analytical, practical, and wisdom-based. And to do this, we involves a process that is very centered, personal, and that is focused on problem solving. We have used the pilot projects of P4C, which is Philosophy for Children, Project Based Learning, PPL, and Ridge Up, in order to implement this. And these approaches are being extended to the pedagogies within other areas of the curriculum. What is the objective of P4C at the Ridge School? So P4C teaches boys to think more deeply and philosophically um, through a variety of activities based on questioning, collaborative inquiry and dialogue. So we develop a community of inquiry and that's the overarching activity and the process can use stimulus such as picture books, music, images, etc. The learners within their group develop questions that are open-ended and they vote upon the most appropriate question or the one they deem to be the most appropriate. And then we have dialogue and debate around those questions. Um, It is very much a child-centered approach and within philosophy for children they develop valuable life lessons as well as critical thinking skills. What is project-based learning at the Ridge School? We encourages the development of reasonableness, practical wisdom, and good judgment. And you may agree with me that these are skills that are sorely lacking within society today. It develops a clarity of language and open-mindedness. And we wish for our boys to have an understanding of central human concerns, such as fairness, responsibility, and truth. And for us, people see as the vehicle which enables that. What is the benefit of project-based learning? And what is the aim of project-based learning? So project-based learning is a progressive pedagogy that differs from traditional teaching. It requires boys to investigate and solve real-world problems. 
by engaging with complex and authentic questions or challenges. And the boys there find solutions for those problems or challenges. It enables us to design learning that is learner-centered and that connects and motivates each boy because it links directly to the boy's interests and concerns. Their learning is self-guided because at several junctures they have the option of choosing the direction in which they'd like to go and therefore it is a self-directed learning journey which engages them far more than traditional learning. Some of the skills that it promotes are critical thinking, communication, creativity, problem solving, collaboration, information literacy and technology. Boys have a project based learning style that is carefully scaffolded because at the beginning of the year they are quite new to the approach but towards the end of the year we allow them more freedom in selecting their projects and they are given the opportunity to express themselves freely and to explore far wider than the traditional curriculum um, allows them to do. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Ma. Thank you. It was lovely to speak to you. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Mrs. Moore. Now let's hear it from our stars themselves, our boys from grade four and grade five. The reason that I enjoy P4C is so is that we can speak freely and learn about our emotions and be aware of other people and ourselves. Uh, the reason why I enjoy P4C is that it teaches us how to control our emotions and how to um, evolve ourselves and not just let, if we're angry, let our anger out on somebody or if we're sad, just let our sadness out on somebody. And that's what I love, it's just teaching us how to control these things data on will learn different things to like help us with this and that's why I enjoy P4C. Okay. Things we like about PBL are group interactions, socializing with our friends and peers and just in general talking and playing around and having fun. The things that we have learned um, during PBL is to use every single app on the on the school iPads and I really like technology so it's, I find it really fascinating. Aren't our boys just so lucky to receive a world class education? For you listeners, please hit subscribe, the rich school where boys are known and grown. <laughs>